Because I signed up in college, but I still didn't really dive in all the way, right? There were lots of ups and downs through that process, but I just realized that if I didn't find a way to build something for myself, then I was gonna spend the rest of my life working for someone else, never have control over my time, my income, how many vacation days I get, how much I have to travel. Um, what I found with Newsom was a way for me to start on a part-time basis to build something for myself. And I understood that if I help enough other people, then I can achieve all of my goals and be able to have really that time and financial freedom. I think for me, what New Skin's all about, it's about getting the money situation out of the way so you can have the, the freedom of your time to wake up every day and choose what you're gonna do with your life. And really be able to pursue your purpose in life and be 100% present with the people that you love. Okay, thank you. So my question for you is, have you always been so successful at New Skin, this business, or have you faced some challenges? Zero, zero, this is easy, right? It's easy, guys, right? Easy. You sign up, Blue Diamond, right? No, so, I mean, for, my, for my first five years, lots of ups and downs, right? I moved back and forth between distributor to Lapis multiple times. I don't know how, I would have to look up in the system how many times I recall. Six up. times, I, re I look it up for you. <laughs> Give me a break, all right? Like two, three, four. Uh, you know, so really for me. Uh, Hold the mic up a little more. You know, maybe. Thank you. So a lot of you guys have maybe been there, right? Where you see the vision, you want the success, you see other people succeeding, but you wonder, can I really do it? Is it really possible for me? And um, so first of all, congratulations on being here today, because that's the first step. Um, so should I? So the answer is no, it hasn't always been easy, but um, so really for me, I'll just share kind of what changed things for me and hopefully this can help someone else here. So it was about two years ago, April 10th, 2017, where I started to see people having success on social media, right? The toothpaste started, social selling. I saw people, you know, the UK, it seemed like it had been, you know, not really growing for a long time and people really started to have success and um, actually came to this event by myself, no upline, no downline, it was just me. Flew in from Seattle, I was living there at the time, and you know, still had that dream deep down inside. And I just decided, it was April 10th, 2017, where I decided I don't care how long it takes me, how ugly it is, how bad I am at doing this, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna make that decision to be all in 100% every day and give it everything I've got every single day. Put my head down, not stop until I reach my goal, right? My goal at the time was that success trip to South Africa. And so the second thing that changed things for me was to suspend disbelief, right? We all have self-doubt, limiting beliefs. We all have those things that hold us back. Am I really good enough? Am I worthy? Am I deserving of having the success that I want to have? And so, you know, you are. And things won't really change until you actually believe that for yourself, right? That's where the personal development comes in. But, you know, I just made that decision to lock out any ounce of doubt or disbelief and just think to yourself, what kind of action would you take if you knew you would succeed, if you could not fail, okay? And just limit, you know, lock out any ounce of doubt or, or disbelief. And the third thing was taking massive action. So it's, you know, I worked harder, you know, at that time over, you know, so I guess long story short is became executive in April and, and May hit gold and June hit Ruby qualified for South Africa and July hit, uh, hit Emerald, uh, August hit Diamond and the following January we had reached Blue Diamond status in the company after nine months. And so, so think about five years of failure, not having success, but the only way to fail in this business is to quit, right? If you keep showing up and keep working, then there's nothing that can hold you back. So that's, uh, you know, that last thing was massive action consistency. I believe most people don't have the success they want to have because they're not consistent enough for long enough yep. to actually start seeing the results and see your business take on a life of its own and grow outside of yourself. Thank you. Awesome. Massive action and never quit, right? And I think at one point you mentioned is like get rid of all the, those negative uh, feeling and doubting yourself. So that's, thank you, it's a great message. I have uh, Tasca here. So Tasca Reno, if you don't know her, she's very famous. Uh, she's a, a New York Times best-selling author, sold over one million uh, copy of her three million, ooh, three million uh, for her book and such a and TV show, yeah. <laughs> so she's very successful businesswoman. 
uh, focus on uh, health and wellness. So why new skin? Why is new skin fit for your uh, portfolio and why do you want to pick new skin to part of well, your career? Uh, thank you, Jay. Thank you, everyone, today. And thanks, Nick, for your answers. I heard you speak in 2017, so you're a part of my story. Um, my business uh, was founded kind of accidentally because, uh, Sandy, I might have been one of the people that was trying to lose weight many, many times over. At the age of 40, I weighed 204 pounds and didn't have the access to the new skin products with them at the time, but did find a way to lose weight um, and became a cover girl, fitness competitor, bodybuilder at the age of 42, which is kind of unheard of at the time. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and everyone came with me today. Come on. I'm stoked about that. Um, and so the business was fantastic, and I built a solid foundation based on principles called Eating Clean, which I was having a little chat with Tyler about last night. <laughs> um, and so Eating Clean is a way of eating that has redefined how we talk about food and what we put into our bodies and how we honor ourselves. And I began to see the alignment with new skin products when I learned all of the good, none of the bad. And then I had a one-on-one -on -one chat with Joe Chang. I sat in his office, I thought, this is pretty gross. I can talk to this big shot and ask all my questions. So I brought a ton of skepticism because when you eat clean, you're not eating sugar, you're not eating garbage, you're not filling your body with processed foods. You're trying to build your temple from love. And so the word love resonated with me, purity, honesty. And I had to be very careful because when I was, I get approached by a lot of people to talk about their products. And, and sometimes you get thrown under the bus whether you want to or not. So what I found was amazing was how accepting this beautiful company is. All the people, I don't even know some of you people, but you're all nice and warm and friendly. And, and now I'm a repeat attender and I'm enjoying building those relationships, but I needed to know that I could do that for my audience who trusts me. So uh, Joe Chang was great because I couldn't find any reason to say no. <laughs> so I kind of went kicking and screaming. Um, Gary is Gary DeRitter is sitting in the back. I have to give him a massive applause, Paige Ripple. Um, uh, it's been about four or five years. I've only been with the business a year. Um, and when I first, or, or maybe strongly, let's say, for a year, when I heard you speak, Nick, I was you. I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know about this. And, but um, I have found a newfound energy and a light, a fire, love, if you will. And I went to San Diego, and San Diego was the touchstone for me. It was the gateway. I attended San Diego with an open heart. Um, it's not always been easy in my business. Um, what a lot of people don't know is, uh, I had lost a son in 2011, my son passed, and a year later, my second husband, who helped me build my publishing career, also passed from cancer very suddenly. And then a year after that, I was forced to bankrupt the publishing business, unbeknownst to me. He'd been insolvent for five years, and any of those three million copies of book sales that I'd sold were gone, unbeknownst to me. So I came to San Diego with the idea of vengeance, starting anew, uh, opening myself up to something totally different than, than bodybuilding or fitness where you're judged on your physique, uh, you know, your six pack or your butt. Uh, it's okay to say that, right? Because <laughs> it's true. Um, and and to, to really listen to the love and the messages that I could share with the people who are so hungry to heal. And this is what I think is so prevalent in North America, sadly, and probably globally, is the need to heal and how we have a solution. I have a solution. Um, and the big thing that got me so excited with Joe Chang was when he talked about epigenetics because I was born from Dutch parents who actually went through the first epigenetic experiment called the Homer Winter, which when translated means the winter of starvation. And tens of thousands of Dutch starved in the 1945-46 in because they didn't have access to nutrition. So their genes changed. And I was very hooked. Like, when you talk about epigenetics to me, that's sexy. Because I know that with new skin products, particularly age lock youth, and I love AIE10 as well, and so many others, I can actually change the expression of my genes so who I am is not a fait accompli, and I can override those problems that so many of the offspring 
uh, the home inventor have, which is diabetes, blood sugar dysregulation, heart disease, cancer, and heart, and so many more things. So now I have power, and I couldn't help others. I could help them with my books, but I can't touch three million people um, in an, any other way than in this business where I can invite them in so they can change their lives. So I'm taking my life back. I'm starting a new. I'm using NewSkin as one of my tools, and I feel proud and strong to be among so many. Thank you. Is she proud of the product? Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So can I wow. ask Vin? So Vin, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Um, I'm from North Carolina, but originally from Vietnam. And I was lucky to be here in the US. <laughs> So just like anybody else, uh, my dad told me that in order for us to change life, that we came here to yes with nothing, without speaking English. So in order for us to change life, we have to go to school. So I was able to get out of, I don't know how I did it, but I got out of college with a degree. Um, <laughs> so I went work for corporate from 1997 uh, um, until 2005. But during that time, I really hated corporate. There's a lot of, you know, things going on in corporate that I don't like. So then I said, you know, for me to do to change some of my life and have to start my own business. But engineering, you don't have money to start a business, so I have to borrow equity line from my dad's house, my sister's, and then mine to start my own liquor store. So during the day, I work as an IT from 7.30 in the morning until 5, and then from 5 I go to my liquor store. Four years, I opened up three liquor stores and work in Poon Town. During that time, I have my second um, kid, is my daughter. The worst thing is when I have half a day up on Sunday, I hold her, she cry. But at that time, I only thought that as a man in the house, the head of the household, um, I have to provide and I have to make more money. Money was everything at that to me. So luckily, um, my wife told me that I need to come here because I didn't believe in any network marketing. Because I believe that I have to work hard to get what I want. So my upline, who is 20-some years old, come to our house trying to tell me a business of a tool, <laughs> opportunity. When I own the business at that time, I have 60 employees, a young grad to tell me about new skin opportunity. So I didn't buy it. And then she wanted my wife to buy products and stuff like that. I said, buy products and buy products. You have to put in social security. But somehow, she talked to my wife, and my wife asked me to come to one of these events seven years ago. The first thing I got out of it is there's more to life than money. There's a quality of life, the lifestyle that I see all the team lead, that they was able to achieve and pass it on to their children. So I called my wife at that seven years ago, right here in Provo. I told my wife, and she's the one who made me to come to this event. I said, there's two things gonna happen. One, we're gonna spend a lot of money on product of this company. <laughs> Because I hear the product is great and I believe in it. Two is we can make a lot of money from this company. What do you want to do? So he says, he says, whatever you want to do, I support you. So I went home and think for six months, I went home and sold all my business and dived in with news because he does not know how to do that with money. Because <laughs> I decided to change my life because at that time I said, I want to take a pause and my family come first and the quality of the time I wanted. So I want to change my life. So I dive in and went to learn from all these, <laughs> and I was wrong. This business is hard than any other business. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead serious, because the other one, I can work hard, and I can do the business. And this business is not about me. It's about uplifting all the people. I said, are you serious? <laughs> I went in a year and a half, and when I say I don't work full time, I work all the time. I sold my business, I got my money, I traveled to the United States. I traveled 40 some states, hundreds of cities trying to build the business. I thought I could do it, but I was dead wrong. I worked very hard for a year and a half. My first success trip was Bermuda. Back, back a long time ago, but honestly, when I arrived to Bermuda, I already know that I lost two legs and I was just not even a ruby. <laughs> but after that night, with all the lantern that we lift up, with all the dreams that we did, 
I was strong enough to call my uncle. He decided to quit before I even arrived to Bermuda. Because if we did not open, they would have a lot of hopes. But they were wrong just like I was at the beginning with Newskin. But that belief come back to me and I call back and say, you know what? You gotta come back to Newskin. I believe in it and you gotta trust me one more time. And from that call, from that line, and Alan been telling me, you can retire with one pilot leg and that create a team lead and blue diamond in mind. But then I realized the most important thing about new skin business is exactly the mission that they actually tell you. You can actually have the power to uplift, to change one life at a time. And that was mine. And then you put people first and the success just come. That's one thing. And the other one, if they promise you, if new skin promise you something, they will deliver it. No idea that how we just like Sandy, I don't think she know clearly in 1984 how is she gonna be an international company. But see, we leave it, and it happened. I went in here this and I have no idea how it's gonna be an international business for me. I have no experience in network marketing. But today, with the platform that the company built, our business grow all over the world. It happened. And when they say they truly want to make a platform so the distributor makes more money, it did happen to when Velocity came out. So whatever the Sandy or anybody in the company that promised, it happened. And we believe it, it will make the difference in every single round of bodies, right? And after a while, we, we align our mission, our old group, give, that's our group, give basically, we take that mission from the company is we got to give other people an opportunity to change life. Everybody deserves to have a quality of life for their families and pass it on. So that's what we truly believe. And we don't go out and build a business, but we, we go out and build a family. And that's what we've been doing for the past seven years. Thank you. That's great, Ben. I love your message that we're improving lives one at a time, right? But we're improving lives. This business, we're changing lives. So, uh, John, John Ojun, Ojun. <laughs> so, um, tell us your story. Uh, where you start from this year? And I know you went to Malawi last year to represent our sales leaders. Can you talk about your experience that time? Okay. Um, where is uh, Stenzo? Do you mind? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to touch the ground. <laughs> okay. uh, my name is Hu Jung Zhang. I live in uh, Dallas, Texas. I'm originally from uh, South Korea. I've been with Nuskin for 18 years. And then uh, in the beginning, I started the start business um, as a part time. Uh, Especially the you know, you know not part time the spare time spare time and then part time business and then I met my sponsor in uh, Los Angeles Airport LAX. I used to be a taxi driver and then my sponsor my passenger taxi passenger. Yeah, and then. <laughs> Um, yeah, I walk along the uh, long journey and then long story for 18 years, uh, make sure. And then I have a lot of the, uh, you know, obstacles and then I'm, I think I was an um, uh, expert, expert at failure. <laughs> Fail well and then you know fail excellently <laughs> <laughs> i'm willing to embrace my fail sometimes fall down and then i end up keep going my way i love you i love you whole dude in yeah, 2002, I become a Lapis executive, and then after several months, and then drop to gold, and then drop to executive, I cannot maintain 2,000 volume. 
I, I don't have no energy. I cannot keep going to the blue diamond. I quit. I make a phone call to my sponsor in Korea. He is a Korean distributor, live in Korea, KR account. I'm a US account. I build my business just by myself here. And then he told me, I, okay, I said to him, thank you for uh, supporting me. Now I need to quit. <laughs> <laughs> he answered me, okay, if you insist. Wow. <laughs> Bad sponsor. Bad sponsor. <laughs> and then two days later, he called back to me. And said, Why don't you go to the convention, global convention? September 2002. I need a taxi. He told me, I need a taxi. <laughs> Two minivan. Two minivan. I think I quit new skin and then why not? Four days, $1,000. Not bad. Okay, I will go. And then I attend the convention, global convention. Top. Top seat, top over there, you know, you know the Delta Center, now Arena, and then there is a recognition. There is a hundred of the new blue diamond. They are happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy. Why not me? Why not me? You left? I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm ordinary people and then Look, all the people in the blue diamond, they are happy, look happy, but they are ordinary people like me. Why not me? I challenge again in 2003. I commit. I want to be blue diamond in January 2006. <laughs> Uh, uh, January 2006, I became a blue diamond. And then, April 2008, I became a million dollar circle member. <laughs> and then I, I'm trying to listen carefully from other people. What they want to be. I'm, I'm helping people and then support people on my team. And then after that, several blue diamond um, next year. And then I have um, uh, several several account of a billion dollar circle member. Yeah, two years ago, I achieved a five million dollar circle member. <laughs> Ask people, listen carefully, what they really want to be. Why they want to be a blue diamond? Why, why they want to be a rich people? Listen carefully. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Listen carefully. That's why I am here. I'm so too honored to be here. And then I love all the leaders, awesome leaders, and then Sandy or President, President of Nuskin, the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, and then I've been to South Korea for two years supporting my, my team. And then I, uh, uh, last year, I got a phone call from Utah. I lived in um, Seoul, Korea. My apartment called me. 
Why don't you go to the uh, Malawi? I have um, uh, three problems. Consider one thing is um, not enough time. I need to support my team. And so, my wife lives in Dallas, Texas. I live in Seoul for two years. And then, money. I make enough money, you know, to, to support my, my own, own family. But not enough money for the helping other people. That's why I am working still now. I'm not retired. And then I have a several, several obstacles to the, uh, you know, the Malawi. And then, Timon trip, company pays all, all expense. But the Malawi, my expense, my money. <laughs> Airline ticket and anything. I spend my money go to Malawi. Why? I need a shop. <laughs> I need a shop in musicians. Some people be careful. I don't want to go there. You might be dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I shot the three or four shot. I saw a smile, children smile and then they all, all villages welcoming us, our team health member welcoming us, and then we visit a, a, a vitamin, a vitamin a factory, and then Safi, and then I met uh, some uh, young man, uh, 23, 23 year old. He grew up in the uh, uh, orphanage, and then he well educated, and then. He named uh, Michael. Michael teaching their people. We support them independence. We support them independent, educate, and then independent. Wow. I changed my life and then I changed my heart. Replace my heart. <laughs> New one. I got new hearts. <laughs> Never ever seen. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Wyatt. I'm from Friendswood, Texas. And I first want to thank Sandy for providing a foundation for all of us, men too, but for women that are mothers, um, to be inspired and empowered and to know that we can do this means a lot to me. And I know for my team out there, we all thank you very much for setting this up for us. So I am a mother of three. My oldest son is 21. His name is Tristan. My middle son is 16. His name is Noble. And he has Down syndrome and is autistic and nonverbal, very low functioning. And I have a 11-year-old daughter, Savannah Grace. And about two years ago, um, my husband and I decided that we were gonna separate. And April of last year, looks like divorce was where we were headed. And so I was in the restaurant business. Then I did a little bit of recruiting and sales, but hated being away from my children. And having a special needs child, I have to be there. And so I decided to stay home. And at the time, my husband owned a couple of restaurants and a nightclub and was never around, part of why we were getting divorced. <laughs> um, 
So I was looking for something and New Skin found me. And I found this amazing company by a referral post of the tanner. Anybody use this amazing tanner? And um, started using the tanner. And then I found that there was this toothpaste that, I don't know, makes your teeth really white. I think most of us have white teeth in here. Um, but it was the only toothpaste that kept these stains off my daughter's teeth. She gets these really bad stains that her saliva causes every night fighting with her before she goes to bed. Anybody before toothpaste fought with their children to brush their teeth? I always did. And so it's just not what I wanted to do before I put my kids to bed. And so I found this toothpaste and it started working. And so I'm using the tanner, I'm using the toothpaste. And the person that told me to sign up, she was like, it's free to join and it you know, doesn't cost anything monthly. So I was like, all right, I think I could do this. I looked up New Skin and it was a solid company. Call my girlfriend, Stacy, and I'm rollerblading. I'm like, hey, we're gonna do this business. I don't know how, when, where, or what, but we're gonna do this because it looks like you could really make some money. And she laughed at me. She was like, okay, toothpaste, tanner. Three weeks later, she still hadn't signed up. I'm like, sign up. What's taking you so long? It's free. Do it right now. So she finally signs up and we're slinging toothpaste, right? Making money. Don't really know what we're doing. Don't really know about this team building thing yet. And my mentor, uh, Buzz and Maureen Croner. Yes, everybody know Buzz. Heard his story yesterday. Um, calls me and takes me under his wing and starts to train me. And I'm like, why does this guy care about me so much? Um, and says, do you want to make money? And I said, yeah, I want to make a lot of money. So he goes, well, you need to get to convention. So I'm like, convention? What's convention? He's like, let's just, just, just get your ticket. Let's just go. You're going to have so much fun. So Stacy and I are like, okay, three days, no kids. San Diego? I think that sounds fun. So we packed our bags, and I think between the two of us, we had about 20 pairs of shoes for two days. <laughs> Something insane. Like that. So my aha moment for me um, was walking into this convention and it was decked out, you know, just beautiful. Just like red carpet, you know? And then I see, I hear Ashley Robichaud's story. And I'm sitting there, I look at Stacy and I'm like, I want to be a blue diamond. And she's like, me too. <laughs> and we're like, but how? What are we supposed to do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out. And so then Dr. Chang gets up and talks about youth. And this is where the story gets kind of good. So my son is nonverbal, doesn't talk, um, can't remember things, you know, low functioning. And when people ask me, well, what level is he on? I don't, I, I never could really give that answer. But when I left the convention, I bought a bottle of youth and I prayed. I was like, Lord, please just let this, let this child take this medication because he doesn't take anything. I'm sorry, vitamins. And so I, I give him the pill and because it floats, he puts it in his mouth, down the hatch it goes. I'm like, yes, okay. So he's taking it. Five days later, this child's talking in full sentences. Got to hear his voice fully. Full sentence. And then the teacher, when I picked him up, she's like, what is going on with Noble? And I said, oh, you know what? I started him on this supplement. And uh, what, what's going on? What, what's up? She's like, well, he is not shutting up. He's talking <laughs> and running around. He played kickball. And normally when he kicks the ball, he'll just you know, run a little bit because they get really tired. They don't have a lot of energy. And she said, but today he ran around the whole gym. And I said, okay, can you start kind of looking and, you know, letting me know about these things? And then two weeks later, she tells me that he counted to 50 on his own. And normally when we count, I have to, you know, prompt him, you know, 28, 29. And so for him to count to 50 was amazing. But that's not even the best part. <laughs> then we're at a restaurant with our friends and he's telling me he has to go to the bathroom. And I'm talking and I wasn't listening. And so he points me and I look over and he wrote the word bathroom. First time ever to write the word.
So we supplement these products that we have that are a gift to all of us, whether it's toothpaste tanner, Lumi Spa, or a supplement that can help your son talk is amazing. But the story I really came here to share with you today is 40 days ago today, on February 24th, my husband committed suicide. And I'm here today because, number one, new skin. New skin, no matter what language you speak, no matter the color of your skin, no matter if you're a boy or a girl, it's all about heart, the heart of new skin. I don't know if anybody else feels it, but when you hug people here, this energy, this ball of energy that flows to heart to heart, that is real. And that is what, when you leave here today, this gift that you've been given from the person that invited you here, or you just thought, let me go check out what new skin is. Am I really going to do this? Do not hang on to it. Share this gift because you don't know whose life you're going to change, what story is on the other end of that person. But this really, and this isn't about me and what I just went through. My team, my team, In February, I was a Ruby, and in March, with the most devastating time of my life, was the sweetest time of my life, because my team, we stood up and we rose, we rise up as women together and as men, and everybody surrounded me in prayer, because there were days that I could not get up, but I did, because my kids, my 11-year-old little girl, two days after she said goodbye to her daddy, I stood up and I got her out of bed and I grabbed her hands and I said, baby girl, we have to go to school today and you're not just gonna try, you're gonna do it. Just like you're gonna stand up here today, you're gonna get on your two feet and you're gonna do this because if my 11 year old little girl can get up and go to school, you can get up and do this. Here's we have been given the tools. We all have our why. Thank you. And everybody here has told you a little bit of how to, to do new skin. You've got the great, the greatest products that work. You probably have an amazing mentor that really cares about you. You probably have a team that is backing you up and there is no greater feeling of watching your team member rise to the occasion. And Stacy Aguilera got me to Emerald in my worst time of my life. <laughs> so Stacy, I want you just to come and just Stand with me for a minute. I think the most important thing about new skin is what Sandy has said, that we're motivated by love. And this is what love is. <laughs> Every person in here, whatever pain you're going through, whatever devastating thing, and if anybody here is depressed or lonely or feeling sad, you came here today, and I hope that you take every ounce of this love and share it, because everybody deserves to have this gift. All of us do, so do not leave here without telling somebody about new skin.